Prairie Wife from PrairieWifeAndHeels.com. Those of you that follow us know that Tall Girl J has now had two Stitch Fix boxes to try out and see how they work for her plus size figure. And last month I stole one of her sweaters out of her box and claimed it as my own. So I decided it was time to give in to the inevitable and just order my own Stitch Fix box. So here it is. Um, those of you that don't follow the blog may not know that this year has kind of been a big year for me as far as my body changing. I do have five kids, so I'm used to the constant expansion and in and out, but this year I underwent a preventive mastectomy. So I've actually been having some trouble with my new body because I went for reconstructive surgery. So I started out the year as a 34 double A long, as I like to call it, after nursing those five kids to between what the surgeon needed to do and what worked right for the way my chest cavity was, yada, yada, yada. Um, I am now a 34 pretty full C and I have one more surgery to go in a couple weeks that might result in me actually being on the lower end of the D scale. So a lot of my clothes are not fitting the way they used to anymore and I'm a really long waisted person. So having these guys taking up more inches means that half my wardrobe I've had to give away, which my friends love, but not so great for me. So I'm really hoping that my stylist Michelle did a good job kind of listening to the things that I told her in the survey and hopefully she got some clothes that'll work and make me feel good about myself and feel like showing off my new figure a little bit. So let's start. Okay, first it says we have the Crescent Molly Mixed Material Knit Top, which is $54. Ooh, I can tell you already that I'm going to like it because it has big flowers on it. And inside of me is an 84-year-old British woman that loves flowers and tea. It's a great sweatshirt material. It feels kind of heavy, but not too heavy, if that makes sense, and nice and soft. And as you can see, I like to wear active wear even when I'm not being active, so this is kind of perfect for me. It looks really cute. It looks like the sleeves will be long enough. We'll have to try it on and see, though. Next, we have Le Liz Eldon dress for $68. I love it already because it has the stripes and the flowers. I'm a huge fan of mixed pattern. The color will work great for Wyoming, fall, winter, spring. Let's see. Looks like it's a pretty good length. Ooh, I do have to say though, it has bell sleeves, which I'm really not a big fan of, but I'm okay with trying new things. We'll try it on. Maybe it'll look differently when it's on. It does look cute and it feels soft. Might need a slip under it though. Oh, let's see. What do we have next? Market and Spruce Bernadette Lace Overlay Raglan Top hmm, for $58. I'm a huge fan of the lace trend. I think it's a great way to kind of fancy up an outfit. And this looks like it's a perfect mix between casual and fancy. You could wear this with jeans and a cute heel, or you could just use it to dress up your sweats, wear your dress sweats as I like to call them. Looks like it's definitely going to be nice and long for my figure, and it has a little bit longer in the back, which is always a good thing. Can't wait to try these on. Oh, okay. I'm a big fan of stripe. I love it, that whole French-inspired look. This is the Pixley Greenwich Striped Knit Top for $48. Ooh, and look, at it's got cool leather detail. I like to joke around that I'm the rocker mom because I have the tattoos, and I like to kind of wear the high heels and the ripped jeans and everything like that, so I love that leather detail. And it looks like it's really long, too. Not a tunic top, but kind of close, and there's even more leather detail right here if you can see that. So this one looks like a great... One, two, it would be cute with a pencil skirt. Not that I'm going to keep it. I haven't made any decisions. Hmm. Last but not least, we have Cut from the Cloth Kate Boyfriend Jean for $88. So, huge fan of boyfriend jeans. They work great with my figure. I am smaller in the waist, but I have big thighs for the rest of me. So, boyfriend jeans kind of give me that roomy. Always trouble if the waist fits or not, so we'll have to see. I really like the wash on these. Most of my boyfriend jeans are torn, so it would be kind of nice to have a pair that I could dress up or use for those things like going to church. And I kind of like to, it's like the pockets will be in a good placement. That's always a problem for me too, is where the pockets are on the bottom. After having five kids, it's not as fluffy as it used to be. Okay, so the subtotal is $316. If you buy all five items, you get a discount, which in this case would be minus $79. And then there's the styling fee, which is a purchase credit. I paid for it already, and it can go towards this, which would be $20. So if I decide to keep everything, it would be $217 would be the total. So I can tell you the only thing I'm really iffy about is the dress. So we'll have to see. Let's start out with the top. It's the first item that I pulled out. 
Um, I really like it. I don't have anything layered under it right now. I would probably wear a tank top under it just because it's a little bit see-through, but it's really cozy. Um, I like the way that it's not super tight on the armpit. That's something I have trouble with because I have really broad shoulders and the length on the sleeve is good. Super cute, super comfortable. These are the jeans. I'm a little bit nervous about the price of $88. I definitely do not spend that money um, on a pair of jeans. Usually my jeans come from Target for like $22 on clearance. Um, the boyfriend fit feels great. It feels comfortable around my thighs. It's not too tight in that area at all. And then I really like the cut on the waist right here. Um, it feels like it's staying up, but it's not squishing everything out. And I like the lower cut because I have a little bit of extra right here from having all the kids. And sometimes the higher cut just cuts right in between and it's not comfortable or flattering. I like the way the pockets are. I think my butt looks pretty good in it. And yeah, these pants are a total win. I feel like they might be my new favorite. And it's hard to see, but the length on them is really good for the boyfriend. I could wear it with booties or ballet flats, sandals, any of that, and it would be really cute. So, so far everything I've tried on is a win, but it's only been... So, still wearing the boyfriend jeans. Um, this is the lace overlay top. I like it a lot. I really like the cut. Once again, not too tight in the armpits. Um, the gal shows large for all of my sizes because that's what I usually wear because of my shoulders and then with all the new stuff up top it fits. I like that it's a little bit lower cut than the sweatshirt, but not too low cut. I don't have any nerves anymore here after the surgery, so sometimes things that are too low cut I can't feel when they're pulling and it's caused a couple embarrassing moments. So I like that about it. I like how it's a little bit longer in the back. Um, the sleeves, three quarter length sleeves don't bother me though. Usually I would probably wear it like this, which it still looks cute. So once again, another win. So here we have the last top that they picked out. It's a striped one that has the cool detail. I really like the length on this. Um, I think it hits just right here any longer. And I think that it would have just not, it wouldn't look right with jeans, but this hits at the right spot with me. I think the stripes look okay. They don't make anything look, you know, bigger than it is. I like the back right here. Once again, it's a really good length for that. Um, something that I like about it is how long the sleeves are. You can see they hang down a little bit. So immediately my thought was I could, if I decided to keep it, I could wear it with, I have a oxblood leather jacket and it would be really cute, like with the sleeves peeking out from underneath it, or even with like a sweater. Once again, not that I'm necessarily going to keep it, but if I were, um, those are a couple ideas that I had wearing it. And I just really like this detail. I think it's really cute. And I think we have the dress. The only thing that I didn't absolutely love the second I took it out. Fits really well, definitely comfortable. The waist isn't too tight. It hits in an okay place where I feel like nothing's sticking out. The top is great. Really like the cut. Uh, the length, as you can see, if I, here we go. Now you can see a little better. It is not too short. It's perfect, it's fine. I'll be able to move around, pick up the kids. I would definitely wear a slip under it for modesty's sake because it is just a little bit thin. The only thing is, is I don't know if I like the sleeves and I know that's a personal hang up. I, I like the way everything else looks on it and maybe that's what Stitch Fix is about, right? Is trying something new. Do a little turn for you. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Make sure you let me know. Okay, let's do all, some final thoughts here. I thought Stitch Fix did a great job picking out clothes that I loved, that fit my body, and fit my life perfectly. The one thing I didn't like that much was the dress, and really I liked everything about it except for the bell sleeves. One of the reasons I did Stitch Fix was to try new things, so maybe that's what I need to do. Another thing that makes me a little bit leery is all the items say that you need to hand wash them. I know they kind of just do that on everything nowadays but it has me a little bit concerned. And of course the cost is a big deal. $217 on only five items of clothing. While I will say the jeans are probably worth um, that amount of money because they're pretty fabulous. It's a lot of money for our budget and what we have going on right now in our life. So if I did choose to return everything and only keep one item, it would probably have more to do with our budget than how great of a job that Stitch Fix did. I wish their items were maybe even $15 less because that would add up and make a big difference. So I'll have to think about it. And of course, I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think about the items? Are they worth the cost or not? What do you think about how they look? Please tell me. I would love some help making this decision. Don't forget, visit prayerwifeandheels.com for more great posts and to let me know what you think. We'll see you later.